so what is osi that is open system interconnection and it has been developed by the ISO this architecture includes seven different layers and each layer is responsible for performing some specific kind of task the main functionality of the physical layer is to transmit the individual bit from one node to another Hello friends a warm welcome to my new session on introduction to computer network i am your revathi ma'am faculty from the department of computer science vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysuru so dear student in my last session i started with topology so what is mean by topology it's nothing but the physical connection between the systems or devices is known as to topology in the sense how all the systems are arranged and how the connections are established that is known as topology then we have discussed six different types of topology and they are ring topology bus topology mesh topology star topology hybrid topology and tree topology and this is very very important topic from the examination point of view and in my today's session i am going to deal with the osi reference model along with that i am going to discuss the features and use of osi reference model in data communication now let's see what is osi reference model before that let me to explain what is osi here o stands for open s stands for system i stands for interconnection so what is osi that's nothing but the open system interconnection i it has been developed by iso here i stands for international o stands for organization of standardization so here international organization of standardization in the year 1984 so here osi came into the picture in the year 19 84 now why i required osi reference model i want to transfer the data without error i i want to transfer the data to the particular recipient and all the data must be flow like a water so here it is a seven layer architecture so in the sense what here this architecture includes seven different layers and each layer is responsible for performing some specific kind of task and all the seven layers are going to work collaboratively to transfer the data from one person to another across the globe by using osi reference model we can able to transfer the data from one person to another person throughout the world okay so here what is osi that is open system interconnection now these are the seven layers of osi and all these layers are responsible for performing some specific kind of task now if i consider application layer presentation layer session layer transportation layer network layer data link layer and physical layer so these are the seven layers of osi reference model and this application layer is the seventh layer and this physical layer is the first layer and 
if sender want to send the data then sender is going to start from the application layer and at the receiver side the receiver is going to start from the physical layer now sender is going to start from the application layer and at the receiver side the receiver is going to start from the physical layer and each layer is responsible for performing specific kind of task if i consider application layer so what is application layer it provides the applications that nothing but the services to the user and if i consider presentation layer transferring the data or translation of the data compression or providing security these are the jobs of presentation layer then what about session so dear student if i consider computer system we have n number of process now i want to identify the port address of each process and establishing the connection is the job of the session layer along with that i have transport layer it provides reliable what is reliable without any error in the sense without any delay the message must be delivered from one process to another i network layer is responsible for sending the packet from one source to another destination and if i consider data link layer the job of the data link layer is to error free transformation of data frames so dear student while transferring data from one node to another node the data bit may get corrupted now the job of the data link layer is to provide error free data translation or transformation and physical layer as the name itself indicates that it is mainly related to the physical components in the sense how the systems are connected what kind of softwares we are using what kind of hardwares we are using and how the data are transferred all those things we are going to study in the physical layer now dear student if i consider top 3 layer these are the software layer it is called software layer and if i consider bottom 3 layers that is network layer data link layer and physical layer these three are the hardware layers and if i consider transportation layer this is the heart of the translation or this is the heart of the data communication so dear student now the question arises how to remember this sequence so dear student please make a note here i'm going to give one sentence you have to write the sentence based on that you have to write the layers so start with the sentence that is a p so capital letter a p savita transfer to transfer to new department department of polymer science and from this sentence i am going to take first first letter so what i will do i'll take first letter a then i'll take next letter p then i'll consider s then i'll consider t then i'll consider n i'll consider d and i'll consider p see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 how many layers i have seven layers 
Now here A stands for application layer. P stands for presentation layer. And S stands for session layer. T stands for transport layer. N stands for network layer. D stands for data link layer. And P stands for physical layer. And you have to write the layers in the same order. And you cannot able to misplace the order. Now, let me to discuss what is physical layer. So, dear student, as the name itself indicates that it's mainly used to establish physical connection. In the sense what? How the devices are connected and what kind of connection we have either wired or wireless and what kind of software we are using. All those things we are going to discuss in the physical layer. So the main functionality of the physical layer is to transmit the individual bit from one node to another. So dear student, for example, say I have the message hi. Okay, now computer does not understand hi. And this is converted into ASCII. And ASCII is converted into binary and that is represented in the form of binary bit. And the physical layer is responsible for transmission of each and individual bit from one node to another and this is the lowest layer of the OSI. So this is the lowest layer of the OSI and it establishes, maintains and deactivates the physical connection. So what is the job of the physical layer is to establish the connection between two nodes, maintaining the connection and deactivating the physical connection. And it also specifies the mechanical, electronical or electrical and procedural network interface specification. Now see here I have the example. I'm going to get the data from the upper layer that is data link layer. And see here all the data are transferred in the form of binary digit that is nothing but the bits. And if I consider receiver side see here I'm going to send the data that is towards upper layer. And at the sender side from top to bottom and here bottom to up. Now let me to discuss the functionalities of physical layer. One is line configuration. In the sense what we are going to configure or we are going to identify how the connections are established and what kind of medium I want to use either wired or wireless. It defines the way how two and more devices can be connected physically. And the another functionality here is to data transmission. So the data are converted into bits and one one bits are sent at a time and it supports three kinds of data transmission modes. One is simplex, another one is half duplex and another one is full duplex. And if I consider simplex, one way transaction in the sense what only the data flows in only one direction. Example, keyboard. By using keyboard, I can able to feed the data. Now, half duplex, two-way transaction, but not simultaneously. In the sense what? I can able to send and receive the data, but 
not simultaneously example walkie talkie and if i consider full duplex it is once again two way data transmission sender and receiver can able to transmit the data simultaneously along with that the another feature here is topology so what is topology there is nothing but the physical connection or arrangement or geographical representation of computer system in the sense how the devices are connected each other it defines the way how network devices are arranged or connected the last feature is signals it determines the type of signals used for transmitting the information now the job of the physical layer is to identify and know the signaling type it may use sine wave or it may use digital signals in the sense what the data transmission can able to use sine waves that is nothing but the analog signal and digital signal now i am going to have the data link layer what is the job of the data link layer that is it is responsible for error free data transfer so data transfer is nothing but what data frames so dear student think that i have sender and i have the receiver now while transferring the data from one node to another okay the job of the data link layer is to take care of error free transfer of data frames and it also defines the format of the data in the sense it is responsible for defining what kind of data i am going to transfer it provides a reliable so what is reliable that is error free and efficient communication between two or more devices and the main responsibility of the data link layer is to unique identification of the devices dear student if i consider network i can have n number of nodes now i want to identify each node uniquely so the job of the data link layer is to identify the node uniquely which is connected in the local area network and it's responsible for performing two kind of jobs so it contains two sub layer so dear student data link layer further includes two more layers that is logical link control layer and medium access layer so here logical link control layer so this is the software and which is present in our operating system the job of the operating system is to identify the address of the network layer protocol from the header dear student if i consider operating system and the job of the operating system is to provide logical link control and it's also responsible for flow control in the sense the flow of the data is controlled by the logical link control layer now if i consider medium access layer it's a physical address or it's nothing but the mac address and if i consider any pc or laptop each device or node must be uniquely identified by the medium access control now tell me who is going to provide medium access control that is none other than manufacturing company 
So, a medium access control layer is a link between the logical link control layer and network physical layer. Suppose if I want to connect logical link layer with the physical layer, then I must have the medium access control that is nothing but the MAC address. It is used for transferring the packets over the network. Now, by using MAC address, we can able to transfer the data across the network. So, the functionalities of data link layer is to framing. So, dear student, till now we were discussing about data. But the particular data is further divided into smaller, smaller pieces because we cannot send whole data together because we have the capacity. There is nothing but the bandwidth capacity. Now, I cannot able to transfer whole data together. So, what I am going to do? I am going to divide the data into smaller, smaller pieces and that is known as frame. That is known as frame or framing. And physical addressing. The data link layer is responsible for add the MAC address to the frame. If I consider data, see, if this is my data or if this is my frame, after converting that into frame, I am going to add the address, that is physical address to this frame. So, the data link layer adds a header to a or to the frame that contains the destination address. When I am sending data, what I will do? I am going to place the destination address in the sense what? I am going to place where the data must be reached. So, this destination address is nothing but the recipient address. And it is also responsible for flow control. If I consider network transmission media, we can have n number of users and all the users are going to use same media or same path. Now, the job of the data link layer is to control the flow of the data. Now, it is also responsible for performing error control. So, dear student, before sending any frame, we are going to find the CRC value. That is nothing but the cyclic redundancy check. And we are going to append that CRC value to the frame and we are going to send the frame to recipient. And at the recipient, what the recipient is going to do? He or she is going to extract the frame and he or she is going to check the CRC bit. In the sense, they are going to find the CRC value. If he or she is going to get same value, then the data is not altered or not modified. So, the job of the error control is to control the errors by using cyclic redundancy bit or cyclic redundancy check. Then we have access control. In the sense what? We have to restrict the access of the network or data. If I consider network, we have unsecured network. Now, if I consider this network, I have n number of nodes and I cannot able to allow all the nodes to access the data. In the sense, only the legitimate user or the legitimate node can able to access the data. So, that is the job of the data link control, that is access control. When 
two or more devices are connected to the same communication channel then the data link layer protocols are used to determine which device has a control over the link link at a given time see here i have the link there's nothing but the connection and in this connection i have four systems now the job of the data link layer to allow the system that who is going to have the access to the medium in the sense who is going to have the rights to access to that medium that is known as access control now i'm going to have another layer see network layer so this is my third layer in my osi reference model and what is the job of network layer is to manage the device addressing and track the location of the device on the internet so what is the job of the network layer is to manage device addressing who is going to perform the device addressing that is none other than network layer and this network layer is also responsible for tracking the devices which is connected through the network it determines the best path see here i have four system or i have four nodes and all the nodes are connected each other and from each node i have the weightage for example 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 think that this is my sender and this is my receiver now by using network layer i'm going to find the shortest path see here if i travel from s to this node and from this node to receiver what is the distance i required 3 and if i travel s to r directly then what is the distance 4 and if i travel from source to this node and from this node to receiver then 5 plus 6 it is 11 and i want to consider only the shortest distance so the routing is is the main responsibility of the network layer so this procedure itself known as routing it determines the best path routing is what nothing but the identifying the best path to reach the destination it determines the best path to move data from source to destination based on the network condition priority of the services and other facts so the main job of network layer is to perform routing and forwarding the package or packet so dear student in physical layer we have the data and when it comes to data link layer the datas are called frames and in network layer the frames are renamed as packet the protocols used to route the network traffic are known as network layer protocols so what is protocol here protocols are nothing but the rules or the agreement between two devices and whatever the agreement we use to send the data from one node to another that is known as network layer protocol and we have the protocols like ipv4 and ipv6 now let me to discuss the features of network layer so these are the responsibilities of network layer internet working it provides a logical connection between different devices so dear student the main functionalities of network layer is to provide the 
logical connection between the devices and it's also responsible for performing addressing. So this layer is going to add the source address to the packet and destination address to the packet. And why I want to add source address? Because I want to know from which source the data is coming. A network layer adds the source and destination address to the header of the frame. Addressing is used to identify the device uniquely on the internet and it's also responsible for routing in the sense what while transferring the packet I have to find out the best path and I'm going to forward the packet so that is known as routing the major responsibility of network layer is to perform the routing then what is packetizing so dear student in data link layer the datas are called frames now when we reach network layer the frames are once again renamed as packet so that's known as packetizing a network layer receives the packet from the upper layer so the network layer is going to receive the packet from the upper layer and convert them into the packets okay so what is the job of the network layer it's going to receive the data from the upper layer it's going to receive the data from the upper layer and convert that data into the packets and that is known as packetizing and this is done by the ip now i'm going to have the transport layer and this is my fourth layer and this is the heart of the transmission so this layer is responsible for transferring the data in the same order because when i consider network we have plenty of data and i want to maintain the flow or order of the data for that i'm going to have the transport layer so the transport layer is a fourth layer ensure that the data are transmitted in the order which they are sent so i want to transfer the data in the same manner how the data are sent and it avoids the duplication of the data and the main responsibility of the data transfer layer is to transfer the data completely so all the transformation of the data is done by the transport layer it receives the data from the upper layer so here transport layer is going to receive the data from the upper layer and converts the data into segments in transport layer whatever the data we have that is termed as segment and in network layer it is packet and when it is data link layer then it is frames so data are known as segment so here data are broken into smaller smaller unit and that unit itself known as segment and this layer can be termed as the end to end layer or point to point layer the main job of the transport layer is to provide end to end transfer of the data so the transferring of the data is carried out by the transport layer so it is end to end transfer or point to point transfer and it uses two kinds of protocols that is transmission control protocol that is tcp so dear student it is connection oriented protocol so it is connection oriented protocol and it is reliable why it is reliable because it is responsible for 
sending and receiving the acknowledgement with the base of acknowledgement this transmission control protocol is going to work so it is a standard protocol that allows the system to communicate over the internet and it establishes and maintain the connection between the host so what is host here that's nothing but the device or node or computer system when the data is sent over the tcp connection then the tcp protocol divides the data into smaller smaller segment and that is known as segment so the data are divided into smaller smaller piece or unit and that is known as segment and it provides connection oriented connection and reliable connection and i'm going to have the second type that is user datagram protocol user datagram protocol is a transport layer protocol it is connectionless in the sense it does not provide any acknowledgement so it is unreliable it is a unreliable transport protocol as in this case receiver does not send any acknowledgement when the packet is received in tcp each time the receiver is going to send the acknowledgement to the receiver when receiver receives any packet so receiver is going to send the acknowledgement to the sender that they have received particular packet but in udp receivers are not responsible for sending the acknowledgement to the sender so the sender does not wait for any acknowledgement and sender is going to continue the data transformation or data sending therefore this makes protocol unreliable so this makes the protocol unreliable now i'm going to have the services it provides service point addressing so dear student when i consider any computer system i can have n number of programs so the program under execution is known as process so each system must have n number of process so computers run several programs simultaneously due to this reason the transformation of data from source to destination not only from one computer to another computer but it is process to process communication and this is known as service point addressing and the another feature here is connection control the transport layer provides two services one is connection oriented and connection less when it is connection oriented then the physical connection between two devices when it is connection less then we are going to use wireless media in the sense what a that is radio wave infrared or micro wave now i'm going to have the segmentation and reassembly the another feature and functionalities of transport layer is to segmentation and reassembly so what is segmentation the data are divided into small small unit that is known as segmentation and combining these segments together is known as reassembling and these are the two jobs of transport layer now i am going to have my another layer that is it is a layer that is the third layer in the osi reference model what's the third layer that is session layer what's the job of the session layer is to establish the session connection between the nodes so session layer is used to establish the synchronization between the nodes now think that i have system a and i have system b now 
if both the devices want to communicate each other then must be a synchronization between a and b without any synchronization it is not possible to send the data or receive the data so the main job of session layer is to provide this synchronization and interaction between the two or more devices and the jobs of the session layer is to provide dialogue control session layer act as a dialogue control and it creates a dialogue between sender and receiver so who is sender and receiver there is none other than two parties they want to communicate each other and they can able to use half duplex or full duplex half in the sense what two way communication but not simultaneously example walkie talkie then what about full duplex two way communication but there is a synchronization between sender and receiver example telephone line now synchronization the session layer is capable to provide this synchronization between the two devices and why i require synchronization so dear student let me to consider one example here i have a and b and middle i have the checkpoint okay now sender is going to send the data to b that is the receiver in middle the data must travel through the checkpoint okay now while sending the data from a to checkpoint okay there is no modification of the data now from checkpoint to b the data get altered or modified when the checkpoint knows that the data is altered or modified then the job of the checkpoint is to resend the same packet to the receiver this is the job of the session layer so synchronization is nothing but in session layer it adds some checkpoint when the transmitting the data in a sequence if some errors are occur in the middle of the transmission then the checkpoint is responsible for retransmitting the data not the sender now i have the presentation layer so this is my second layer of osi reference model and this presentation layer is mainly concerned with this syntax and semantics in the sense what while transferring the data from one node to another i must follow some rules without any agreement i am not able to transfer the data and this is the main job of the presentation layer so here both the parties want to follow the syntax and semantics of the information and that is exchanged between two system and it act as a data translator for a network so what is presentation layer it's nothing but the data translator so translate the data from one form to another that is either from ascii to binary or from text to ascii so this layer is a part of the operating system so dear student if i consider session layer presentation layer and application layer these are the part of operating system and these are the software component this layer is a part of the operating system that converts the data from one form to another the presentation layer is also known as syntax layer or semantics layer and what are the job of presentation layer one is translation so this layer is going to translate the data from one form to another before going to exchange the data between two device the job of the presentation layer is to translate the data from one form to another 
and it is also responsible for encryption. Why I want encryption? Because here I want to provide the security for the data. To provide the security for the data, I am going to have the encryption mechanism. So what I am going to do here? I am going to convert the original data into some other form so that other users are not able to know the content of the information. So encryption is needed to maintain the privacy. Encryption is a process of masking or converting the sender information to another form. It is mainly used to provide the data privacy and compression. There are certain time it is very difficult to transfer large amount of data. So what I want to do, I want to compress the size of the data. For example, if I consider video file, audio file, the size of the files are large. Now I want to minimize this size. For that I am going to have the compression. So compression in the sense what I am going to minimize or decrease the size of the data. So data compression is a process of converting the data that is reduce the number of bit so that the data can be transferred very easily and error free. So dear student the top layer of OSI reference model is application layer. Now tell me why I required application layer. It is a window for all the user to send and receive the data. It acts as a mediator for all the network devices to send and receive the data. It is responsible for handling the issues like network transparency and resource allocation. An application layer is not an application layer but it performs the application layer functionality and it is going to send the data to the presentation layer. So in the application layer we are going to prepare the data and we are going to send the data to the presentation layer. This layer provides the network services to the end user. And what are the service? One is file transfer, access and manage. That is FTAM. Suppose if I want to send any file to the receiver or recipient. So I must have the file transfer protocol. So the job of the application layer is to provide file transfer and accessing of the file and management of the files are done by the application layer. So it restricts and allows the user to transfer the file, access the file and manage the file from one computer to another computer or one computer to remote computer and it also responsible for providing the mail service. For example, think that I want to send some mail to my friend or my colleague. Now SMTP that is simple mail Transfer protocol is responsible for providing mail service in the sense it is responsible for forwarding the mails, receiving the mails and storing the mails. Then directory service. There are certain time we have to use the directories which is placed remotely. So an application provides the distributed database. There are certain time we want to access remote database with the help of directory service we can able to access remote database sources and this is the main services of application layer. 
so these are the some of the services of application layer so what are the service that is simple mail transfer protocol and it also provides directory services so dear student in my today's session i started with osi reference model and from the examination point of view this is very very important question and you can expect this question for seven marks and in my next session i'm going to deal with another very important topic that is tcp bar ip what is t stands for that is transmission control protocol and ip that is internet protocol this is also very important topic and don't miss to watch this session anyway dear student let's meet in the next session with another very important and interesting topic that is tcp bar ip until that keep watching and keep learning thank you